Hey, what's up guys? This is Todd. We're here to do another how-to video. We're going to show you guys how to install a short shifter. So let's get to it. Alright guys, I'm going to show you the parts you need to make this swap. To start off, you're going to need your shifter. This is a short throw shifter by Cartboy. Real solid, going to make those shifts a lot quicker and a lot more fun. Here we got snap ring pliers. You guys want to pick these up from the auto parts store or you know anyone who has them. They're not too expensive, four, four to six dollars but you're going to need it to do this. <clears throat> then you're going to need your ratchet with your 10 millimeter socket and uh, that's about it. So let's get started. Alright, so we're going to start by taking apart the center console here. I'm going to pop this open. There's two bolts inside here. You're going to take your 10 millimeter ratchet and start undoing these bolts. Alright, so we got the console undone. Then you're just going to want to take your e-brake boot and you're just going to pop it away from the your console, okay? Right here on the console, there's a uh, Phillips head screw. So just take a screwdriver and go ahead and unscrew that. So now you got that out of the way, you go ahead and pop off this nice little piece right here. It comes right out. So the next thing you gotta do is you gotta take off the shifter boot. There's uh, two little plastic clips. You can just kind of unscrew those with your hand. And they'll just come right out. And they look like that. And you just take them out, and then you can take your shift boot off from there. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and undo the bolt that's connected to the shifter. So we got this unscrewed. Slide this bolt out. And the shifter comes free. So we're going to take our snap ring pliers and there's a snap ring in there that we're going to go down and get. I'm going to snap it out. We took out our stock shifter and we took off this piece off of here and took all the grease off there and transferred it onto here. We also put the C-ring around it first and then we took out the bushing and the little bearing piece and slid it back in through this one. Now we're just going to take our new shifter, put it back in with the C-ring and then put everything back together. <laughs> Shift knob screwed back on. Keep watching, stay tuned for more how-to videos. Let's go test this baby out. 